Now from Rensselaer to Miami County, Indiana, there is a monument that celebrates the traveling circus extravaganza. For this week's edition of Indiana Interest, News Channel 18's Alex Dyro traveled to the International Circus Hall of Fame. For this week's edition of Indiana Interest, we're in Peru, Indiana, at the International Circus Hall of Fame. Now, these grounds were once the winter stopover point for some of the greatest circuses in the world. Now, it stands as a monument to those greats. From 1872 up until our depression, the circus was the biggest form of entertainment. Executive Director of the Circus Hall of Fame, Tom Dunwoody, says he remembers the days when the circus was bigger than Christmas, and everything stopped the day the Big Top rolled into town. Circus Day was a holiday. Uh, when the circus came to town, all the schools closed, all the businesses closed, and everybody went to the circus. The International Circus Hall of Fame honors those greats of the Big Top by remembering them and preserving circus lore for generations to come. Located on the former winter quarters of several famous circuses, the Hall of Fame offers visitors a look at the costumes, culture, and living quarters of circus performers. Dunwoody says only the most dedicated circus people can find a permanent home at the Hall of Fame. You have, first of all, have to have been in the circus, but you have to have made a contribution to circus history. Uh, as an example, Mr. P.T. Barnum is here and Mr. Bailey because they had one of the largest circuses ever. He's talking, of course, of the famous Barnum and Bailey Circus. But the Hall of Fame doesn't just hold artifacts and plaques of long gone circus greats. For two summer weeks every year, the grounds of the International Circus Hall of Fame are transformed into a living, breathing three ring circus. The last two weeks in July is our performing season. We have our own big top, which we set up, and we have a circus performance every day. The circus is live entertainment. There's no rewind, there's no redo. Whatever you see is what you get, and so it's still very vibrant. If you have a fun or interesting place around Tippecanoe County that you'd like for us to visit, go ahead and head to our website, WLFI.com, and you can learn how to submit an idea there. Alex Dyro, News Channel 8.